next step is um, is replacing the click. Uh, I, I like to have all my clicks be the same. You know, uh, every every song that I get from other sources can potentially have a different click, and they're they're just hard to get used to different click sounds. Like this one here sounds like this. And actually, if I take out my internal click, it sounds like it's just a a wood block and a shaker kind of together. I don't like that. So what I've done is I've got uh, I've produced I've you know you can produce clicks any number of ways. Um, Pro Tools does the best sounding click, and that's what I've I've got a bunch of exports of um, Pro Tools clicks. Um, so that's what I'm actually going to bring in now. Whoops. You can create a uh, click track in any number of ways, either through MIDI of just you know playing um, playing a click, or you know sometimes you can import it from your from your DAW. I've actually pre-designed uh, some clicks that were basically 10-minute long MP3 files um, with that click sound, so I can just drag them into my sessions um, when I when I need them. That way, I don't ever have to worry about the volume being the different from track to track. So I recommend whatever you do just to be consistent with it um, so that when you go from one multi-track to another that you don't have to you know, fuss with uh, different levels of your clicks. Now adding audio to GarageBand can be a little bit of a little bit of a pain. Uh, but, but nonetheless it can be done. Um, so I'm gonna go over here to a folder where my where I know my click track files are. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. This this song I can't remember. It was in yeah seventy nine. So I've like I say I've got um, click track MP three or M four A files that are already pre-done for me. If you're interested in in um, getting these, I can I can get them to you. Just email me, and I'll and I'll um, email you a link to them. So what I'm going to do to add that click track in is uh, first I need to create a new track to hold it. So I'm going to click new track and. Create. Let me put it right there at the bottom. I'm going to put it again at the top, underneath the old click. And then I'm going to navigate to that, to my folder that has my predefined clicks in it that I had created. And just drag it into that empty space there. Okay. Now this is a 10 minute long audio file so I need to snip it off. Um, I'm going to cut it off here right at that outro. Right where that cursor is. So the way to do that under the edit menu I'm going to say split. And then I'm just going to take the second uh, region and just cut it off, which means I got to go back here over here to the end and move the song end pointer so that I don't have a bunch of empty space at the end and put that right there. Okay, uh, finally, then what I need to do is go to the master track, and what I can do is add a global fade out. And I kind of want that to start here and just kind of begin fading out over those four measures. So I can click a couple points here to make my fade out. And I want it to happen right there. The one thing I do need to make sure of is that that is right at 0 dB so that it's a straight line from the, there's no volume changes from there to the end. So I just basically added a global fade out. So when I start exporting my my bounces, they'll all fade out there at the end, so that it doesn't just, you know, since we shortened this, we don't want it to uh, have an abrupt stop. 
Okay, so that's that covers markers and click.